Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another day in my life as a maid. I work for this large family of nine, and on this day here, the nanny was not to be found. Once again, if you've seen any number of my maid videos, you'll know that sometimes the nanny just wanders off. And so I usually take advantage of that and put the client's kids to work, which is what I was doing today, getting aprons on the girls. They help make the mess. They may as well help clean it up and it teaches them how to clean up after themselves and also they just love to help. So I got all the aprons on and we started with the bed because once that's done, it just makes the room feel a little better and brighter and cleaner and happier altogether. So that's what we usually start with. I like to make the bed every day, even if I can't get to other things, which is what has been going on. So I had oral surgery on the right side of my mouth and I was not really able to work for about four days. The funny thing is you may notice my cheek is a little bruised in this video, but I am recovering and getting better. But the funny thing is the nanny also had oral surgery on the same side of her mouth and it, so did everyone who works for this family. It's just really ironic. The uh, nanny, the chauffeur, the personal chef, the tutor, the nurse, everybody, they all had oral surgery and they all have a little bruise there. So. If you notice that, that's why. Anyway, so next up, the baby started getting a little cranky, and I did wind up locating the nanny, and it's really nice to have a nanny around to when you can find her, and you can just hand off the baby when you got to get stuff done, so that's really helpful. And then moving on, the girls here were doing a little craft project, and the nanny was helping them out with that after she was done feeding the baby basically just gluing flowers to some popsicle sticks, which they really enjoyed. So that was a good, fun little project for them. Next up, the family started getting hungry. So I snapped my fingers for the personal chef who came promptly and started making dinner. And dinner tonight was chicken stuffing mashed potatoes and peas, which everyone wound up loving and it was all quite delicious. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden At this point, my client's husband had come home and we decided to go ahead and get the table all cleared off for dinner on this night. It had not been done during the day. And so occasionally that will happen and I just put all the kids to work and we got that done. Something my client's family does is they eat dinner by candlelight and turn most of the lights off surrounding the area. Oh, by the way, I was eating dinner with them. Not weird at all. Anyway, and that just helps to calm down the kids and get them settled down for the night. Golden, golden things. Gold hair. Gold rings. Gold leaves. Gold anything. Gold. I'll follow them. So the older kids will take turns blowing out the candles and tonight was Hattie's turn and after dinner on this night I had to do dishes and 
finished cleaning up the bedroom because again I was behind so I was trying to catch up on things and that's what wound up happening that's not the usual but usually we try to wind down and sometimes we'll play uno and different things after dinner but this night was just cleaning and I'm really glad to have gotten that stuff done Feet step over splinters of the moon Here I am just putting the food away. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is my job or the chef's job, but of course I will just go ahead and do it. And I put it actually in a lunch container for my client's husband for work for him to take when he needs a quick lunch. I just actually stuck it in the freezer because he'd already had lunch for the next day. And here I am calling the nanny and there she is reluctantly. <laughs> and she came to read a book to the boys and... Tonight she was reading Narnia, Prince Caspian, which is Owen's personal favorite right now. The client's husband was reading a book to the girls tonight, and then I went back to clean the bedroom, finish what I had started. And that's going to be it for this video, just me cleaning the rest of the bedroom, which still has quite a bit of motivation left. I hadn't vacuumed in here for quite a few days. I try to vacuum every day when I can, but don't always get to it, and... There was just a lot of stuff on the floor and so I got, I just, how I usually clean is I put things into piles and pick things up and put them away after I'm done cleaning specific sections. I do usually work in sections of a room depending how bad it is and there's some laundry that's clean and I need to fold but did not get to it on this day. That will probably be in another video possibly and then here I am just vacuuming. There was a lot to vacuum in this room like I said I hadn't done it in so long and you'll notice little black things on the carpet that's just feathers or pieces of feathers from craft projects so I have this craft cart and I have all kinds of things in there and one of them is just these feathers that I had gotten at a dollar general and the kids just really like to I don't know glue them to stuff I just get some random things that they can play with so feathers is one of them and they somehow wound up all over my client's bedroom so here I am just vacuuming all that up. Anyway, thanks guys for watching today's video and look for more of these. I will be making more videos of days in my life as a maid and things like that. Probably have some other videos sprinkled throughout and I try to do videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't always get them up every Monday and Wednesday and Friday, but if I will do a random video, you can assume it will probably be on a Monday or a Wednesday or a Friday. But, um, yeah, I would like to be able to do three a week. That's my goal. That's what I hope to be able to accomplish. And thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing and supporting me on my YouTube journey on this channel. And I will see you guys next time, or I'll see you in the comments. And have a great rest of your day. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden Golden, golden things Miles
in spring Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing Golden, I'll follow him Golden, golden 